What a goddamn creep. Recently, I've watched a movie called St. Vincent, which has Bill Murray in it, and he plays this really, um, just mean old man living in Brooklyn. Melissa McCarthy moves in next to him uh, with a son, and she's a single mom. Through trials and tribulations of a single mother, she has to leave her son with Bill, and through the unadulterated pure joy of the child, Bill Murray learns to lighten up. It's a documentary. The movie was great and sweet and cute and funny and <sighs> made me think, oh yeah, sometimes looking at Bill Murray is like looking into a mirror because sometimes I am cranky. I was gonna try and quantify it for you, but it's just getting me pissed off. I think it's okay to be cranky and I think it's okay to be around cranky people. I think it just requires delicate care, like an old dove. It just requires delicate care. Not the soap. So today I thought I would tell you three ways that you can handle being around a cranky person and three ways that you can handle being a cranky person. Here are three ways that you can handle a cranky person. Number one, opposite of a reality makeover program, don't try to change them. In their mind, all of their thoughts and feelings are the only correct thoughts and feelings that exist. Like an overweight person that has wedged themselves into that seat on the roller coaster, they are not budging. It's a waste of your beautiful smelling breath to try and get them to feel otherwise. Cranky people take you trying to make them feel better as an attack. Cranky people hate people who try. Have you ever read a YouTube comment? <laughs> Instead, try to redirect your energy into brushing your teeth because that whole beautiful breath comment I just said was a lie. Number two, like the NASA space program to an astronaut, give them space. Both physical and mental space. Cranky people seem to have a seemingly endless pool of burning negativity. They're like an invisible fence and you're like a happy-go-lucky three-legged pug with no boundaries. It's not gonna end well. You're gonna end up with two legs and trust issues. And number three, like Rose to Jack on the Titanic, don't let them bring you down with them. Rose was a true example of a survivor who got a lot of help from a selfless human and exploited it for her own personal breathing game. A cranky person can be a lot like the Ebola virus. Politically very polarizing and socially very contagious. Stay away. Focus on your positives. Your positive activities. Positive friends. Positive pregnancy tests. Results that your positive friend just told you about for her. Good for her. Now here are three tips for being a cranky person because it happens and if you don't think it'll happen to you you can go eat dog shit. Maybe that's why your breath is bad. Number one, like me on the weekends, try to stay away from social situations. As a cranky person, you are a whirling dervish of emotions and rage and skewed viewpoints on the world at large. The last thing you need is to get a little tipsy on a Friday night and ask your friend Megan if what she's looking for in all those Instagrams where she's looking off camera is her father's approval. Unlike a tattoo artist, try not to cause permanent damage. Yeah, that person might tell you that they really want the flower with the fetus in it under the rainbow, but don't give it to them. Number two, like a please touch museum, try to be okay feeling this. Feeling cranky is an emotion, and if you're feeling emotions, congratulations, you're not a robot. And if you are a robot that can feel emotions, Cool job, Japan. Feeling cranky or frustrated, if harnessed over time, can lead to inspiration and more positive thinking. How I see it is that hopefully, eventually, you'll get so cranky that you hate yourself so much that you have nothing better to do than make a change. <laughs> the biggest loser. And if you get stuck in the cranky world and never make a positive change, I don't really have anything to say to you because you're probably not watching this video because it already pissed you off so much. And number three, like a vegan central air unit, vent in a healthy way. Try to use things other than people's emotions and personal insecurities to get out your negative energy. Maybe exercise. Maybe create something that is art. Maybe watch something inspiring on YouTube and then maybe subscribe to that person because they're so good at YouTube. And then when you're done subscribing to Tyler Oakley, please subscribe to me. There you go, there are my three tips for being a cranky person and three tips for handling cranky people. I hope that this helped. If it didn't help, I don't know.
Don't forget to subscribe if you enjoyed this video and like it with this signal. Not just like this, by like clicking the button that gives this signal. If you liked it, and go watch St. Vincent if you like movies that have heart and sharp, sharp pain.